our time of confession uh, today is prompted by Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 to 6. And it is a timely one uh, for, it feels like, uh, our culture, uh, the world around us has very much gotten to the place where what this passage, what Jesus speaks about here, is pretty commonplace, um, sometimes seemingly especially among Christians. This is what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 7. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in someone else's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from the other person's eye. Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and then turn and tear you to pieces. It seems like we do an awful lot of judging of other people's problems and faults these days. And uh, I'm not excluding myself from that either. And so we need to take some time and confess before the Lord our God about that. So let us pray. Father in heaven, we hear Jesus' words, Jesus' admonishment not to judge others lest we be judged, and how we will be judged with the same measure we use for other people. And yet, Lord, so often we judge others for their political viewpoints, for whether they're too liberal or too conservative, whether they're, uh, whether they're too traditional or too unconventional, whether they're too young or too old, or whether they're too different from us, or whether they're... God, there are so many things that we judge others for. And yet, oh God, we know if we examine ourselves honestly that there are plenty of planks left to be pulled out of our own eyes. And so, God, we pray that as we take some time to silently confess both those times we have judged others and those planks that we long for your help with removing in our own lives, we ask that your Spirit would guide us into truth. And so hear our prayer. Father, thank you for sending your Son. Thank you for sending your Son to teach us the truth of these words about judgment, but also thank you for sending your Son to, to ultimately relieve the, re, take out those planks in our eyes and to give us salvation through Jesus. 
Thank you for your Holy Spirit that works to cleanse our hearts. And thank you for revealing these things to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our words of assurance come from Psalm 34. We read, uh, we read that part of that for our call to worship, and we're going to continue on with Psalm 34. And in it we read these words. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The Lord, the angel of the Lord, encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed are those who take refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. Let us continue to praise our God. 